Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here, then hi, I'm Charlotte. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you 20 of the best trench coats that are available online at the moment. For me, a good trench coat is the perfect wardrobe staple all year round, but particularly in spring. Um, but sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to find the perfect one. And so hopefully I have done a little bit of the hard work for you because there should be something here to suit all different styles. Just a little bit of a disclaimer, I think it goes without saying, but obviously I will not be keeping all of these trench coats nobody needs this many trench coats um, but hopefully this video will make it a little bit easier for you to find the perfect one and i have kind of focused on more sort of beigey stone colored trench coats um, because for me that's kind of like the perfect trench coat color but there are a few different color options here as well and also a lot of these trench coats come in lots of different colors as well. So as I go through each one, I will mention the different color options that they come in. Um, obviously, all of them will be linked below in the description box, along with any other items styled up throughout, my jewelry, my lipstick. And I will also pop my size next to each item for comparison as well. And if you've got any questions at all throughout the video, then just leave a comment and I will get back to you. Um, but let's get going with the video. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this one here. And if you saw Thursday's vlog, then you will have already seen me wearing this one. It's from And Other Stories and it's just a beautiful trench coat. I know I'm gonna say that a lot of them are beautiful, but this one is particularly lovely. Um, I just think the tone of the beige for me is absolutely perfect. Like it's not too pale, it's not too dark. It just looks lovely against white and denim as well. Um, it's quite lightweight. I think it is a linen blend. Let me just double check. Okay, so it's 61% viscose, 28% linen, and 11% cotton. So it's got a lovely lightweight feel to it, perfect for spring, summer. Um, but you could also lay a knitwear underneath it in autumn and maybe winter as well, because it is, it is a little bit oversized. I love this kind of detail on the cuff that you can um, belt, not belt, they're like buckles on the cuff. So you can kind of pull the sleeves up and then tighten them up so they stay up because sometimes sleeves tend to roll down. And I love the way a trench coat looks styled with the sleeves rolled up. It's got a lovely soft feel to it. It's very comfortable. I like the tortoiseshell buttons on it. And it has also got a belt on it as well, which you could tie up or obviously buckle up properly. Um, and it would look lovely kind of styled simply with jeans and a white shirt or with an all black outfit and some heels to dress it up a little bit more. I will be styling all of them with this same outfit just to keep it really, just to keep it really similar so you can kind of see the difference between each one. Um, but I will be filming a 10 ways to style a trench coat video in the next couple of weeks at some point. So I will, yeah, I'll show lots of different outfit options in that video. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a really lovely one to start with. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is one of the slightly higher price point ones. We've got kind of a bit of a variation from, I think the cheapest one is about 25, 30 pounds, all the way up to about 150 pounds. Um, like I said, this is one of the slightly higher price points being from And Other Stories, but the quality of it is lovely. And yeah, just a beautiful trench coat. I will leave it linked below. Okay, moving on to more of a mid-price range. I think this one comes in at around the £50 mark. It is from ASOS, and it's more of kind of like your typical trench coat style, a little bit more structured, um, kind of like a little bit more Burberry-esque as well. And I love the lining on this one. It's got this checkered lining that I think just gives a little bit of a touch of something a bit more special. Um, it's quite, like I said before, it's quite a structured feel. It's a little bit more stiff than the And Other Stories one. This is definitely a lot more soft and lightweight, whereas this one gives a slightly more smarter, sharp look to it. Um, value for money, I think this one's really good. It feels lovely quality. Again, it's got the same detail on the sleeves as well, and the waist detail. Um, it has got a pocket either, start, either side, but this bit here almost looks like it's got a false flap and then the pocket is actually there as well. And the pockets are also lined as well. And then on the back, it's just got the classic flap with a little button as well and the epaulettes on the shoulder too. Um, and I think for the price point, the attention to detail on this one, it is really, really good. 
and it would be perfect for lots of different heights as well it'd be great if you're petite because it is quite a bit shorter than the previous one if i just hold it in front so you can see you can see there is quite a difference in length so if you are looking for something a little bit shorter than that one would be perfect okay moving on to one that i already own and if you follow my channel already you will have seen me raving about this many times and it's this beautiful trench coat from everlane and i just think this is the perfect trench it is so soft the feel of it is absolutely lovely i think it might be lyocell or a lyocell blend let me just check the fabric yeah so it's 60 percent lyocell and 40 percent cotton so it's got that super soft feel to it um it feels similar ish to the one from and other stories but i think that this would have a tendency to crease a little bit more because of the linen blend whereas this one having the lyocell means it just drapes a little bit better um it's for me it's just absolutely perfect like the shape of it is perfect the fit of it how comfortable it is and i love this color as well again just with a simple white shirt and blue jeans i think it looks great but it also looks lovely over the top of an all black outfit and actually great in kind of autumn winter as well um it has got a pocket either side four buttons um quite a simple style to this one there's no detail on the back at all um just a really beautiful classic trench coat and i also have the same trench coat to show you in a few different color options so first of all is this one which is also a firm favorite of mine again beautiful fabric it's the same i mean i'm presuming it's the same fabric yeah 60 percent live cell and 40 percent cotton um it's a lot i think this is probably the lightest one out of all of the trench coats that I've got to show you. But it does still look really nice styled with white. I think this looks gorgeous with an all neutral outfit as well. Um, and yeah, just really, really lovely. Again, super soft, absolutely beautiful, a firm favorite of mine. And this month, there are two new color releases from Everlane in the same trench coat. I will be styling both of these up a few different ways in my Everlane video this month, which should be up on Wednesday, I think. Um, but first of all, is this gorgeous kind of, I want to call it kind of like a forest green color. Um, a little bit different to all of the other styles. And in fact, when I was looking for trench coats, I didn't see any in this color option. Um, but it is really, really gorgeous color. Again, very striking and sort of perfect for all year round. I think this would also look lovely with knitwear in autumn, winter. Exactly the same style, but just a beautiful new color option. If you were looking for something a little bit different, or if you've already got a trench coat in kind of your standard stone color, um, then I think that is also a lovely classic style, but slightly different color. Then it also comes in black as well and i don't really see black as being like the typical color for a trench coat i would personally always go for a stone or a khaki or a beige especially if i was just getting one um, but saying that it is still an absolutely beautiful coat um, and again would look just really lovely styled with an outfit like this very simple very chic perfect for autumn winter as well styled as an all black outfit i think that it would look gorgeous um, and I also think that this would look lovely dressed up. You could even switch up the belt and pop on like a belt with a gold buckle or a statement buckle. And I think it would look really cool styled like that as well. Um, so yeah, beautiful coat comes in four different color options. I will leave it linked below. Um, and yeah, I really recommend that one. Okay, this next one is probably the longest out of all of them. So perfect if you're tall maybe not so great if you're petite but then saying that i actually think a really long trench coat looks really good like i love them when they're almost kind of ankle length i think it's a really cool look but obviously it depends on your personal preference um but this is just again another gorgeous trench coat it's got a double lapel detail on it that i think gives it a really kind of statement almost designer-ish look Again, it's slightly more of a structured feel to it. I did just check the fabric and it's 97% cotton and 3% elastane. So it's almost, it's quite structured, but it's got a slight feel of a little bit of stretch to it as well. It's got these tie details on the sleeves, which look really cool, kind of worn long or bunched up as well and gathered up. Um, and then obviously it's got the tortoise shell buttons again, 
button details on the pockets as well, crossover detail on the back, which then follows around onto the front as well. Um, I got this one in a size UK 6, and I would say it definitely comes up large. It's quite an oversized fit, which I really like the way it looks, but I would say to size down if you don't want it to be too oversized. Um, and I think personally, I would probably wear this one with heels just because of the fit of it. I think it would look quite cool with a pair of jeans and maybe some ankle boots as well. And this is one of the slightly more expensive ones, um, but the quality of it is lovely. It's lined throughout. It's got lining down the sleeves as well, like a lovely silky lining. Um, and yeah, just a really lovely quality trench coat. Okay, moving on to a bit of colour. And I decided to order this one in this beautiful sage green colour. Um, just as a little bit of something different to show you. But this does also come in a classic beige. It also comes in navy blue, black and a mid blue as well. They were all gorgeous. I didn't really know which one to go for. But like I said, I thought this was just a little bit different and very spring-like. Um, but I just think the style of this one is perfect. Like, the quality of this one is gorgeous. It's a really good price point. I think it's around the £50 mark. Um, and the style of it, again, is just your classic trench coat style. It's a really good length. It's structured, but also feels really soft at the same time. It's got the epaulette detail on the shoulder and then this little kind of corner flap here as well. A um, little belt with a brown leather buckle on it and then the same little buckle on the cuffs as well. And then on the back, it's just got the same little flap detail as well. And this one does actually say that it is storm wear. Keep dry with our clever water repellent technology, machine washable and made from responsibly sourced cotton. So I will leave this color linked below, but I will also leave the other colors linked below as well, the blue and the classic beige. If you like the style of this, but you don't really want to go for a sage green, then I think this in the beige would just be the perfect simple classic trench coat okay sticking with green but this time it is this khaki denim trench coat and i ordered this in a size uk6 i would say it's very oversized so definitely size down in this one um i would also say that this is probably more suitable for autumn winter and spring rather than summer because it is pretty heavy like it's quite thick quite heavy um, and quite long as well so I think again like the like the other one like this one it would look lovely styled with an all black outfit and heeled boots as well I think kind of that style would suit this more rather than how I've got it on now um, I just I do still think it would look nice with a white t-shirt and jeans but I just think personally when something's this oversized and long it just looks better with heels and if I just check the fabric I say I say it's denim but I'm presuming it will say it's cotton on the fabric yeah 100% cotton so it's yeah it's 100% cotton but it's definitely got a very kind of thick stiff denim feel to it. It's definitely not your classic trench coat and not one of my personal favourites, um, but I do still think it is a really cool coat. Okay, this next one is the lowest price point out of all of them. It is £29.99. So if you were looking, like if you were thinking about getting a trench coat, but you're not really sure how much wear you're going to get out of it, or if you don't really want to spend too much money on one, then this might be a really good option. Um, it comes in lots of different colour options as well. This is comes in beige, pale blue, pale grey, which I haven't really seen many grey trench coats, um, and black and stone as well. So I will leave all of the different colour options. It is 65% polyester and 35% cotton, which kind of reflects in the price. Um, but saying that, the attention to detail is still good. Like it is lined as well. It's It's got a silky lining, not as kind of silky and like it doesn't feel as good quality as some of the previous ones that are also lined um but i think the buttons on it are really nice the color of it is gorgeous it's also got this kind of buckle detail at the top um the sleeves have got little tabs on them with buttons on there as well and then again the belt detail and on the back it's just got the little flap detail there oh and it's also little tabs on the shoulders as well um, it feels very lightweight, it feels kind of quite soft as well, perfect for spring summer, quite a short option as well, so suitable if you're petite, um, but again I also think it looked really nice on the model online, she was obviously quite tall and it looked quite short, almost like a long sort of blazer style. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really nice trench coat, if you're looking for a very affordable option then 
this is a really great one. Okay, this next one is definitely the most simple style out of all of them. There isn't any button detail on the front, it's just got a really simple tie waist, no buckle on it, and then on the cuffs it's just got a little bit of detail with the two buttons and the strap going round it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Everlane ones in the, in the fact that it's quite a draped sort of um, flowy feel to it. Um, super soft again. Okay, so it's 91% viscose and 9% polyester. Um, it doesn't feel like it would crease at all. Like it's the kind of fabric that looks like you could sort of leave it in a ball and it would still hang really nicely. Adore the colour of this. I just think a lovely kind of rich camel coat is beautiful in spring summer but it also comes in the most gorgeous mint green as well that I absolutely love the look of as well. I was very tempted, tempted to order that one instead but I thought that this was just more of a classic wearable style that would go with a lot more outfits and I've just noticed it says on the label that it's made from sustainable viscose made with eco-friendly eco and recycled fabrics which is always great um, and I ordered this one in a size extra small and I would say it's pretty true to size. Um, yeah, really, really beautiful trench coat. If you're kind of, if you like the look of trench coats but you don't really want something too buttony and too trenchy then I feel like this is a very, a very safe wearable option. Next up is another coat that I already own and that you may have seen me talk about before if you already follow my channel. I've had this for about a year I'd say but it is still available online at the moment so I will leave it linked. I do think it's a gorgeous trench coat, it's like very structured and again just your classic trench coat style like and also the good thing about this is it's kind of a mid-length, some of them are quite long, others in the more structured style are quite short whereas I feel like this is the perfect length, it's just that sort of in between. Um, although saying that I don't tend to reach for this one as much as I would go for the sort of softer drapey ones, maybe because they are just a little bit easier to chuck on over the top of an outfit like this and feel very comfortable, whereas I feel like because this is more structured it gives more of kind of like a more of a smart look. Um, but the quality of it again is absolutely beautiful, it is lined, I will double check the fabric. So it's 100% cotton so I guess that's why it's got that slightly more stiff feel, fit, stiff feel to it. Don't get me wrong, it does still feel like soft, it's not, it's not kind of a crunchy stiff but it's just got a more structured feel to it. Um, but colour wise I think it's the perfect colour for a trench coat, I like the dark contrast of the buttons on it. Um, and then on the back it's again got the flap detail and a waist tie as well. Okay we're nearly there, we've just got five more to go. Um, and the next one I'm going to talk about is this one here and this is actually a water repellent trench coat which I feel like does make it a lot more practical. It's made from sustainable cotton and it comes in this colour and also in more of like a camel colour as well, a bit more, a bit more like this colour. Um, I thought they were both gorgeous but I went for the lighter option just because I thought I don't know, I thought they were both lovely, I couldn't really choose to be honest. I love the light buttons on this one, like the lovely sort of beigey kind of grey tone to the button detail and the detail on the buckle as well. And then again the little same detail on the sleeves. This one is currently in the sale, it's reduced from $89.99 to $69.99, which I feel like, I feel like $69.99 is more of a fair price for this coat because it isn't lined. Again this one is 100% cotton. Um, I would say it's kind of like got quite, it's not stiff but it's not as soft as some of the other ones, it's kind of more of a in-between um, and it is quite a long one as well as you'll see from the try on clip. Next up is another one from Stradivarius and again this is in a similar style to the Everlane one, quite a like drapey, soft sort of flowy fabric. Um, I think the good thing about this one, sorry I'm getting all in a tangle, <laughs> um, the good thing about this one is that it's got these little um, tabs that you can button up so if like me you love the way a trench coat looks with the sleeves rolled up but sometimes they can kind of roll down as well, I think sometimes it's hard to get them to stay up and I think this is really great because it keeps the sleeves rolled up and sort of tucked away neatly and gives a really nice finish to it as well and you can also undo them and have them long if you prefer. Um, this one was quite a good price point as well, I think it was under £50 but again it is 100% polyester. I would say it does still feel really lovely, it does still feel soft and flowy and like it doesn't look like it would crease easily as well. 
um, but I know that some people would rather stay away from polyester completely. And I'm wearing this in a size extra small and I would say it's a little bit of a drapey oversized fit but definitely true to size. Okay this next one is also in the sale, it is from ASOS and it is reduced to £50. Again in, in quite a classic kind of stone colour, it's got the tortoiseshell buttons, little tie details on the cuffs as well. Um, and this one has got a waist tie with this kind of double metal hoop, which I'm not too keen on. I think it would be nicer if it just had a tortoiseshell button as well, but then maybe that's why it is in the sale. And then on the back, it's got the same flap detail, which I did just look up because I was thinking, why have they all got this? Um, and it's actually called a storm flap or a gun flap. Um, and it's designed to prevent rain. So ideally the rain's meant to kind of fall on this and then fall off rather than getting soaked into the jacket. So yeah, it's a storm flap. <laughs> um, but yeah, just a very classic style again, kind of like a mid-length, little bit longer, but not obviously as long as some of the other ones. And again, it's got the epaulette detail on the shoulders and it is also lined as well. Um, so yeah, just a very sort of simple classic style. This next one is one of the most expensive ones out of all of them. And I ordered it because I thought it would be really, really lovely quality. And it is lovely quality. It's a really nice coat. But I think personally, if you're going to be spending over £100 on a trench coat, I prefer the feel and the finish of some of the other ones, like the Everlane ones, even some of the ones that are under £100 as well in comparison to this one. Um, it is made from a blend of cotton, I think it's 22% cotton and 78% recycled cotton, uh, recycled polyester. It does say on the label that it's responsibly crafted, so I think that is probably why the price point's slightly higher, but then at the same time being 78% polyester, you kind of think for, for over £100, you, I don't know, I think maybe you'd want it to be 100% cotton. Um, but it does have a really lovely feel to it. It's kind of, again, a kind of cross between not being too structured, but also having a nice sort of crisp feel to it as well. Definitely a very kind of classic um, trench coat finish, double breasted, a little kind of side flap on it here. And then you've also got the storm flap at the back. Um, and also it's got a tie waist, which I quite like because it's quite easy to sort of just tie in, cinch in the waist and give a really nice finish. Um, oh, and also it is fully lined as well. It's got a really lovely lining on it. And if I just show you the inside of this bit here, um, you can see that the finish on the lining here is also really lovely as well. Like just little attention to detail that reflect the price point, I think. So it is lovely quality, but I just think there are some that are a higher price point that I personally prefer. And then last but not least, I thought I would save one of the best till last um, because I just thought this was such a beautiful pink trench coat and just something a little bit different to all of the beiges and greens and khakis and black. Um, I thought this for spring summer was absolutely gorgeous and again it is that similar kind of feel to the Everlane one, very sort of soft and flowy and drapey um, and comfortable as well. I will just double check the fabric. It does say it's a linen blend, but it does feel like it could be um, lyocell as well. It's got that soft feel to it. Yeah, so it's 60% lyocell, 30% cotton, and 10% linen. So it's got that lovely, lightweight spring summer feel to it. And I love the fact that it's in this kind of dusky pink rather than a pale baby pink. I think the tone of the pink is really lovely, a little bit more mature. It doesn't look like you're wearing sort of a Barbie coat. Um, and then on the back, it's got its storm flap with a little bit of a button detail, button detail on the shoulders as well. And then obviously double breasted with these tortoiseshell buttons and on the cuff as well. Um, oh, and also it's lined as well. It's got a really lovely soft lining to it. Um, just a really, really lovely quality coat. And if you were looking for something a little bit different to brighten up your spring summer wardrobe, then this is beautiful. And then there's just a few more that I wanted to really quickly mention that I did order for this video, but unfortunately didn't arrive on time. Um, first of all is this cream kind of almost white one from H&M. I just thought the style of it looked beautiful and the fabric looked gorgeous as well. It was described as soft twill, but if I do it, I'll insert a little close-up of the fabric as well so you can see, but it's got a lovely kind of grain to it and it just looked 
really lovely quality it was 59.99 and it also said online that it was lined as well so i will leave that link below in the description box there was also another one that i spotted on h&m i didn't order this one but it was reduced to 15 pounds in kind of like your classic sort of camel beige color um double breasted and yeah reduced to 15 pounds which i thought was an absolute bargain as well i also ordered this one that i spotted in the sale it was reduced from 170 pounds to 85 pounds and it also comes in petite regular length and tall as well which i thought was brilliant because it kind of suits everybody um, and I thought the quality of it looked really lovely as well and a real bargain in the sale as well So I will leave that one link below and then this final trench coat that I also ordered which I thought was absolutely stunning It's the highest price point out of all of them. I think it was around the 200 pound maybe 220 pounds I think it was um, but I just thought the quality of it was beautiful if you're looking to spend a little bit more on a nice trench coat it comes in navy black and classic beige as well and it just looked really really cool so i will also pop that one in the description box if you like the look of that one um but that is absolutely everything for this video i really hope that you enjoyed it and you found it useful and if you did please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here i would really appreciate it um, and i would love to know your favorite trench coat if you can possibly pick one from all of these or or pick sort of one or two or three then do leave a comment and let me know which ones you liked the most i'd be really interested to know um and like i said before everything will be linked below in the description box i'll pop my size next to each item but if i've forgotten anything or if you've got any questions about anything then just leave a comment and i will get back to you um but yeah thank you so so much for watching and hopefully i will see you again in my next video bye